Well, hello everyone. This is uh, a Monday. Uh, basically been really sort of uh, busy. So I'll just give a little bit of update what's going on. Uh, pretty much all of last week had a big, huge uh, event going on with Dave Sparks. So I haven't been up here to the mountain. And after that, being exhausted as I was with everything going on, you know, with the fire and all that, uh, uh, the last two days I had just take for recuperating. I had been beyond exhausted. And uh, so I just uh, stayed uh, home with family and uh, uh, just uh, basically took it easy for two days. Uh, spent most of the time sleeping. Uh, like trying to rest up and uh, get my strength back so uh, and uh, so here Monday I'm coming up here Monday uh, last week we worked like solid nearly round the clock and uh, that really exhausted me with all the other stuff and finally I got uh, came up here uh, it's a nice overcast uh, day you got the a little bit of a change from temperatures in the plus hundreds and uh, so it's a little more nice so I'm gonna be just uh, doing some cleanup today uh, try to get some more done still a lot to do I gotta just keep going through and get all the as much material material out of the dirt as I can and then uh, have to uh, if there's any contaminated stuff uh, load it up uh, yeah, it's just it's still a it's still a huge mess uh, I did uh, I did do a little bit of block up on top if you look way up there you see some corner blocks uh, that's just for the wall there's a wall that goes there it only goes up uh, a little ways but uh, over here will be two wind turbines up there and on the far side there'll be uh, some solar panels so the solar panels will go up at an angle, and so there will be a back wall as tall as where the solar panels go up to, in order to protect the solar panels. Um, protecting your solar panels is a big deal, and uh, a lot of things people don't quite realize on their solar systems is uh, the sun destroys your solar panels. So uh, I don't remember what the uh, exact uh, uh, percentages is per 10 years, but uh, it's something, if I can remember something like you start losing 10% within so many uh, years and so many from that and that, or something. It's like, I think it's like they half it and half it and half it. So if you actually have solar panels up and you're not using them, uh, don't do that. Do something, cover them up or whatever, because the uh, sun is slowly destroying them. So if you're not using the power, uh, find a way to uh, cover them so they're not uh, being destroyed uh, i think some i think if i remember right yeah you know, solar panels have a 24 year life for most of it then you start getting really low efficiencies and one of the things that i will be doing is uh putting up uh, the solar panels and having uh, uh, uh sheet metal covers that can slide over and cover any panels if the system's not being used uh some people might think ah you don't really need to do any of that just buy new panels but uh if i generate more power with the windmills and stuff like that i'll just uh, anything that uh, slowly degrades i will uh, protect uh, to make sure uh, i can extend the life of it and you also have the issue is what if you have large hail storms uh, so having uh, sliding uh, uh, panels that can go across to protect the solar panels can save uh, your array from being destroyed. Uh, yeah, of course, this, this would be probably too difficult for huge solar farms, but uh, on my place here, I'll just have, uh, I think, uh, on the upper one, probably about, uh, tw I think there's a 26 or 28 of the 330-watt panels, something like that. But... Uh, uh, I will do my best to uh, make things uh, uh, so that uh, they can be protected in case we have high winds, uh, uh, storms, uh, hail, even super heavy rain, uh, lightning. Uh, so 
hopefully uh, when you're watching my videos, once I can get some things going out here after all this cleanup and the finish on the, the top, uh, can uh, try experimenting and uh, hopefully uh, provide some more knowledge to all my viewers out there. So, uh, bit of a work in progress. A lot of this has been in the back of my head for years. So I'm just going to uh, uh, go for it and uh, see where we can get from there because if uh if uh temperatures go up or we have some issues with solar uh storms uh coronal ejections or whatever uh some even uh climate changes but i'm not saying climate changes like they normally say i mean standard normal uh climate changes which could range anything from freezing to baking super hot so well, I guess that's enough of my talking. Uh, that sort of explains what's been going on here. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a nicer day. I'm not, hopefully, not get uh, uh, overheated or dehydrated. Uh, but one thing I do want to add, I want to thank all of the people that have been sending uh, the packages and the letters and everything. Your, your gifts have been amazing. Uh, I've got, uh, I just started going through that and getting everything organized. And uh, uh, if there's an address, a return address that I can, I will do all my best to send you a thank you card and let you know just how much I appreciate uh, your donation to uh, uh, basically re getting restored from the fire. So enough of going back on all the uh, negative stuff we're going to look for the positive we're going to just work forward and i thank you so much I, I i don't i feel like i'm not worthy with all the donations given to me because i mean it was just my shop and i have been seeing some news about people that's lost their entire homes uh and have nothing so if you have a choice between me and them uh donate to them first because uh there's a lot of families that have absolutely nothing uh, so, uh, and I still have, with well, the project still going slowly, but hopefully get back on our feet because we have to, get, I have to get new equipment like welding leads for the welder, another compressor, uh, uh, various tools, uh, some of the old, uh, uh, going to try to see about getting some replacement, uh, Gardner Denver, uh, Jack leg drills and drifter, uh, for the tunnels, uh, but uh, uh, believe me, I, I thank you so much. So I, I've blabbed on longer than I should. So basically I'm just going to uh, just start going through and just cleaning up and I'm just gonna sort of just grade it, make it work it all the way on and clean it and rake it, get everything out here and slowly move here uh, basically to the Northwest. Um, started piling up stuff in the truck but uh, it's sort of full now so i'm gonna try to lay out a tarp over here to throw all the materials out and sort various things uh set like sort of sad to see if there's any parts that can be salvaged off these winches there were several new winches um those were off the two and a half ton military truck um there was some gear boxes and one of the gear boxes i am a little bit that were uh sort of sad about was the gearbox for the m715 for the pto uh, those are rare and very hard to find. So enough of my chatter. Like this is the third time I think I've said that. Uh, I'm just going to start working and get back to you. Well, there is uh, some of the block that I set up. Uh, let's see, about nine days ago. Not the last Sunday, but the Sunday before. This just comes up a little bit, and this is a cap for uh, bringing in uh, uh, air or whatever. Uh, and then there'll be a basically just two foot wide high blocks right around here on this side. This side will get up a little bit higher. And then here, there'll be a bigger wall. There'll be two wind turbines here. And then over here, we'll have the uh, solar panels. Now, I don't know if you can hear this. I'll try to be very quiet. That rebar is humming. Now, 
know, I get closer to it, it's it sort of stops like I'm sucking the charge up. Right there is about it's a little di -di 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 sound. We got a little storm over here. And that rebar is picking up some charge, so I'm not gonna touch that thing. See if any of these others are. That one isn't. This one right here is the one making the most sound. But when I get real close to it, it stops. All right. Well, that's just an update of what's uh, going on on the main building. Uh, all I've been, I didn't do any of the block work today. Like I said, it, uh, I've just been cleaning up. So uh, I'll show you just a little bit of the cleanup. And then uh, I'm going to head home. Because uh, uh, I'm still... Uh, a bit tired from uh, all the work that we did this last week and uh, it uh, even though it was over overcast today the sun came out and the humidity is just uh, pretty br brutal so all right I'll show you when we get down to what I've been cleaning up well not so much done on that side but on this side I've been doing quite a bit of cleaning just got uh, garbage and bad dirt and rock and stuff there. The uh, pickup truck's pretty much loaded up with uh, scrap iron, separated copper, nuts and bolts. But uh, still got more. And I've got these ground squirrels running around all up here. Yeah, I'm just being sort of weird. Uh, so, uh, anyway. I've uh, been really, I've really cleaned this area up today, the gravel. I've like gone through and scraped out all the junk, any rubber, plastics, anything that was bad. I've got still some stuff to sort through. This area is going through. There's some really nice lug nuts, chrome lug nuts over there. I've been digging through and getting out. As you can just see, this cabinet full of various things that I can actually uh, reuse and some of the stuff I really need. I got like the track uh, bolts for the minecart rail. Um, there's various uh, so tools there. A lot of brass fittings. One of the big things is is the uh, drill bits for the jack legs and the rotary drills. These things are, I have to save all of them. Now they've been heated. They're carbide and they've been heated. I'm not necessarily certain if those heads were actually treated or not. If not, I will have to have them heat treated before I use them. So, and then here's like the lug nuts. I, uh, these will fit all my dodges. I had a pile of them and I've got about, found about half of them. So, that's uh, basically a, a big update here Monday on what's going on up here since I have uh, haven't been on for a while. I appreciate all the views, all the subscribers, and uh, uh, really everybody support with this. And uh, uh, hopefully here we'll get, uh, uh, be able to get this cleanup done and just be focusing on rebuilding. And I thank you all. I thank everyone, my Patreon supporters and everyone who sent the uh, uh, letters and stuff. And uh, down below I have an address if you uh, uh, wish to help or uh, uh, contact me. Uh, so... All right, that's enough for today. Thank you, and have a great evening. God bless you all.